Hello and welcome back to friends, it's me Odo and I'm back in my campaign of EU4 with Oman. <clears throat> Last time we started this war with Mahra, Vasangavli and Kilva and this time we have to see if we can win this war. Um, I was just considering Becoming Defender of the Fae. I'm not really sure why Medina got this. I mean, you have to pay 500 ducats to get it. And I mean, Medina is a one province miner with uh, only... I really don't know how, how they could afford that. But anyway. If we take it, we would make our army even stronger and get another missionary. Um, also, our war exhaustion would go down, which would be great. Um, yeah. On the other hand, we could we could buy some manufactories or stuff with this money, but we. Well, we probably will do this. Yeah, why not? We have to <clears throat> get more armies because we have so little manpower. Um, the better we are, moral wise. Uh, no, not the deceit or the break. You fools. Yeah. He could have the castles badly there. Oh, interesting. Basra is now doing the siege here. That's okay. Ah, oh, come on. If we take this level 2 fort, we can move around here freely and we can kill his troop. This would be great. Because I want to kill them before Kilva comes up with his troops or her troops, whatever. Yay! So used to Madurai <coughs> because we can. These six thousand men come up here. These 11,000 men will take 4,000. Hmm. We'll take this guy here and the rest. We'll go there. So lose prestige. Uh, the Cindy Ibadi statesman, blah blah blah, joins our call. Level three. Diplomatic reputation guy. Ooh, diplomatic reputation. That's good. And we have here also this kind of person, but much more expensive because he's not half price. Hmm. Or what's that? Also, this guy is old. Hmm. Local development cost, local tax modifier, local manpower modifier, and sudden synth doesn't care. Let's take this guy and put it into position. He's got only 13 ducats, that's great. 
in <coughs> about four months. He's cheaper than the guy before. I mean here. Where are you going? Ah, oh, you can't go there. Come on. What does he have? He has a... Uh, well, he's as fast as we are. Probably we should have taken this guy. Ah, oh, we should take our king. Or our heir. Because he's faster. Where are you going? Uh, Gido. Uh, probably we'll go there. Yay. We converted the guys in Patan. Great, then what we can do is we can put this on a no edict, do this, and let them be part of the Let's see, he's going to Daba. Okay, this is in the fog of war. Hmm. Too bad. Let's go to eight then. That visit Kilva. Wait, we fought against Malindi. How can this be? I thought Malindi is not in the war. Okay. Actually, I probably was wrong. Okay, um, first of all, no, no, stop, stop. <sighs> so stupid. First of all, we need the uh, guy. Nah, okay, we don't need this guy. We still need this guy. Uh, but we split our army into half. This guy goes there. This guy takes this guy and goes here. So, okay. Problem. Because now we have here this 9,000 men. Hmm. Will they attack us? Probably. Oh, probably they can't get there because of this fort. Ha! Huh. Great. Hmm. 
Almost always for your own good. Ooh. We discovered an ancient from Madurai. Yay, and we got the Um We got this. And Yemen is helping out here. Great. So human, go there. Truce expired, our truce with Medina has ended, okay. Whatever, I really don't care. Ah, stop, no! Ah, stupid rebels. I mean, there are 5,000 Yemenites as well. Pretty powerful thing in Hormuz. Okay, whatever. <clears throat> This is terrible. We fight the rebels for him. Normally we want to do it the other way around. So, 15 legalism and Yemeni body theologian. Better unrest minus 2 guy. Or just 25 admin. So, we have here a level 2 guy who is off. You see? Yeah. So it won't help us. So let's do that. Really? We can make a state here? Why? Ah, because, yeah, of course. I remember, because Hana can't be <coughs> part of the trading company for some time now. But it will. Ooh, we also got Mahra. Nice. Nice, nice. Ooh, Hera, the the kill the guys. Oof. A lot of, lot of brute force. Not here, on here. Wait, what? No, Bachmanis. We need you to like us. I don't like us. Only plus 65. How can this be? Hmm. Neighboring heretic religion. Really? Your own people are all Hindu. You didn't convert any land to um, to Sunni religion, so you should not be mad at me because of that. 
what can we do to make you happy? Like, hmm. Hmm. we could send him a gift. This would give us 25 points more, but that's still 10 points. 10 points more with the 100 that we have. Hmm. No royal marriage, of course not. Even if he would like. Hmm. Not sure if we could. No. Yes, take no. Influence. Wars and warning proclaim guarantee. We are far too rich and powerful for our guarantee to be taken seriously. Yeah. Hmm. And we are no great power, so we can't influence him. He doesn't want our military access. Hmm. Well, we will probably not be able to do this quest. Too bad. You still hate us, yeah. Okay. Ooh, Kilva is here. With 11,000 troops. That's great. That's really great. Because this means that we can take the capital. You take the Go forward to Kilva. You take back this guy. So I'm not sure if we do this. We negotiate on behalf of our entire alliance and they are merely negotiating for themselves. That's great. So we still be in the war with uh like can we take everything from you? Yeah, we could. Should we keep him some land like that? Force him into our religion. Convert this province for us. And next time we attack him, he's not protected by by the Mamluks. Yeah, that sounds great. That really sounds great. Ooh, new color. This is a different color. Yeah. No, we don't want you as a military. You don't want to give us war reparations? So let's call this land. Oh, this is so expensive. So now we could try to. How did you get this many men here again? How many men do you even have? Kilva. We could take a white piece with Mahra. 
I mean, this would be good because we just did, did this war to conquer Lazan Galilee. We didn't want to conquer this because this is a really nice and easy way to um, to get land, and we don't want to lose our manpower. But if we go to peace now, we need a war more or less instantly because. Um, Don't want to lose our our stupid vessel here. We should try to get some some loans run. Yes, that's good. He's losing money because he polluted. That's great. Probably we should stay in this war. Probably stay here in the vicinity of these 10,000 troops. Impressive. Ooh, we are one of the great powers now. Ooh, this is good. Because we can now influence this guy. No, we can't because we don't have enough money. <laughs> but we could. <laughs> okay, we'll take a claim on Verda and say okay. Okay. Ah, stop it. What if we declare war on them? Mamluks would help. What if we declare war on them? Yeah, Mamluks would help. What if we declare war on them? Of course, Mamluks would help. Hmm. How about you? How about you? This is a possibility. A war on on Ethiopia because Ethiopia is quite big right now. They only have Funj as their as their helping hand, <clears throat> so we could take on Ethiopia. We can't air on Beja. Nah. How about you? Ne. How about you? We don't have a cast spelling, okay. So no. <laughs> How about Sin? No, Timurids would help. How about Melba? Rahmanis would help. Ugh. How about Chum? Yeah, Timurids would help. How about Hapson? No, they are part of Bahman. Ah, uh, Bahmanis. We would have to fight Bahmanis, but they are rather strong. Okay, how about Kota? Nah, yeah, we'd have to fight Bahmanis. Hmm. Too bad. Too bad, I think. We are out of ah options. Karakoyundu. We don't have a claim. <clears throat> How about claiming this? Why did I say that I really like this? How about a jam? We still have a truce. And Ottomans and Mamluks would help. 
This is even worse. How about Ah, yeah. They are part of the stupid Mamluks. Why is this occupied by Mach? So Ethiopia is the only the only option that we have right now. A war on Karakuzundu would be really great. Because they are so weak. <laughs> um with Charat we have still a uh, truce. Metri Paris is fifteen twenty eight in five years. Mm. Six year with Chayanagar. Mm. Which are even longer since still. Mm. Not good. Not good. So we'll stay in this war for some time now. Let's see, normally. Ooh, Mombasa, we want to conquer Mombasa. Come on, take Malindi. Yes, great. So, Malindi, how about you giving me just your money and war reps and transfer trade power and you can't be friends with Kilda anymore. Fine. Wait, what? How did how did they get there? Where did they come from? Uh, she consolidate and you are the siege guy. Okay, and you take this guy. Let's just conquer Kilva as fast as possible. We could barrage here to make it even faster. If we have Kilva, we can probably take Mombasa from him. This would be great. Tech news, no. Why did our Sultan die? We didn't even make him into general. <sighs> Why didn't this guy die? He is a general. And this guy is not an heir. This is uh, Tsumutung. What's 
called in English. <sighs> okay. So, national unrest minus one. And what's the primary strength plus two? That's okay. And you stop doing that. Why did you guarantee Dimmy autonomy? Stupid guy. They got rid of his separatists, Madurine separatists. Ooh, the separatists from our vassal. So, from luck, we, we gained this province without doing anything. Ah. Too bad. Okay. Um, let's send our Ooh. yeah, of course, but could we wait a bit? Could we threaten war? We are at war. I mean, we could try it. So let's build a spy network on you. Probably it's better to threaten war for this province, Merrick, because then we can claim one of Mogadishu's lands and threaten war there as well. <clears throat> Trade League of Mogadishu has disbanded. This was a trade league. Our heir Sultan is now careful. Okay. Can we carefully remove him from where he is? Like Go away. We really don't want you as an heir. Oof. Shaykh ul Islam, the most learned and steadfast can, uh, where the Qadis are the judges of the land, the Muslims are the ones to provide general legal interpretation and doctrine. A sultanate as large as ours, however, needs an overarching authority over all Muftis. Traditionally, this is the role of the Shaykh ul Islam. The Shaykh ul Islam will not only offer was himself, he will also be the one to appoint many of the regional muftis in our realm, and ultimately, he is the person who will safeguard the legality of the Sultan's edicts. Naturally, the men we pick belong to the Hanbali, but there are a number of distinguished candidates to choose from, like only one. <laughs> okay. Righteous Shaikul Islam will blah 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 blah. Tolerance of the true faith plus 4.5. Move towards legalism 20%. 20%. Okay. Um, we are only at 20 people. Let's do this. 
we couldn't do anything about it anyway. So, yeah. Okay, we have 22 tick days. And we can sack Kimba. Yay, that's great. Do we need money? Or do we need army professionalism? We need army professionalism. This is manpower. We can convert 120 ducats to about 10,000 men or 7,000 or whatever. Or we could take the ducats because we don't have army professionalism anyway, so we don't lose anything. And we can devastate Kilva really, really madly. I'll take this one. Okay, let's see. Can we claim Mombasa from you? Nah, you wouldn't do it now, would you? Of course not. But you're not too far away from it, so... Let's see. Come on, we just want Mombasa because we can claim it. I think there is some castle down there. Oh, well, let's see. Ah, I'm, I'm sorry, I should have stopped already. Yeah, there is a castle. Could try. So, I'm not sure if I want to. not uh, yeah okay uh we will see each other again soon i hope until then see you bye